And everybody out there, make sure you still drop your 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 scores. Twenty five point must system. Twenty points for the ones lesser. You can drop it down here hard because what's going to happen is you're going to start to see and understand when you really document what you're thinking and checklist. You come up with a different answer than you thought you would. So the foxhole. This is what I call it when I'm in the corner because I'm trans. I'm transforming a guy mentally, psychologically. And sometimes I might need something physical from them. So I'm going to say we're going to use that shoulder. And I also like to teach things that have been taught over, you know, the, the hundred year linear of boxing. My uncle always said, when you bump him here and you bump him here, he's off balance. And if you understand how to get to that shot with your shoulder at all times, learning how to use that front quad and just do little things and, that's the foxhole. Or I might have to, hey, get on your bicycle and just make a miss. Be thinking, you know, box them off of your back foot or walk to them and get inside of that hot box and in between the shoulder blades. And so he can't get clean shots off. So I might call for something that's psychological pressure. But when you go in the foxhole, it's all different. It's all what is necessary at that time because that other guy might be super strong. So you want to go ahead and wean his energy away. So make him think that whole round and wean and find his holes. And I tell guys, don't be shy. Don't just make a miss to make a miss. Make them pay and let them taste that smoke at the same time. I'm not making you miss so I can just make you miss. I'm making you miss so I can make you pay. And that's where we at right now, the foxhole. Who has the better corner hmm. in the team? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll go. Um, I, I think that this okay. is. A, I, I, I think this is a tough question, just because um, we haven't seen uh, <laughs> many fights yeah. at a high level for Tia yeah. Pimo, right? A yeah. And and that doesn't mean he's not. That he doesn't have it. It just means we haven't seen it at a high level uh, right now. Um, but I think this this will be a, a great test. I mean, I think um, a lot of fighters like Canelo, for instance, or you know, have had uh, tough fights. Even Floyd Mayweather when he fought uh, Castillo. You know, you have this fight. You may not look as good as you wanted to, but it propels you. So I think no matter what happens, I think that this fight will be will transform Tiafimo's game for forever. But uh, back to the question, I think that Loma's has been tested. He's, you know, walked guys down. He's boxed them. He's, you know, fought inside, obviously, with Salito. You know, he has so many different, you know, tools and has been an experience, uh, has the experience yeah. from these fights. So, yeah. you know, it, it's kind of hard. You, you almost – by instinct, you have to give it to him because it's like he's kind of been through this at a high level already, and we've seen it at a high level. But that doesn't mean that the other guy doesn't have it, and doesn't mean it isn't as good. It just means we haven't seen it yet. So, with that being said, uh, I'm going to edge it out, uh, Lopez. Uh, I mean, sorry, uh, Loma for uh, fifteen ten. Okay. Otis? Yeah. Well, you're, you're spot on. I, I think that you can't, again, you can't discount everything that Lama's been through from uh, the Olympics to all of his championship rounds. Uh, yeah. Consistency. Consistency equals great greatness. I think a lot of people mm -hmm. don't understand that. If you can do the same thing day in and day out and every night, then you're going to probably be great at it. It doesn't matter if you're in baseball and you get on base with a, with a, with a hit or you get an RBI or whatever. Or if you're in basketball and you're just scoring 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 steals a night. At the end of the day, if you can do that for the duration of, of a number of seasons, then you're going to be great. <laughs> Lama's proved yeah. that he can do that for the duration. I think that um, his corner, his with, 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 uh, with, with his father and everything, they've been through everything. You know, they've been through, uh, uh, like you said, getting knocked down. They've been through um, uh, power punchers. Uh, They've been through Mexican style. They've been through yeah. uh, uh, boxers. They've been through tall guys, short guys. Um, uh, another guy with, with wit, 
uh, uh, that he had to outmatch, uh, being with uh, with, uh, Rigo. Um, So I'm going to give the corner uh, to Lama, and I'm going to give it to him big because uh, I believe it's uh, 20 to 25, his his corner, because they've been through everything. They've been proven. You know, it's like uh, geometry. They're a, a, a proven theory. Yeah. Yeah. So I think of it like this, and then we're going to move to the next section is you think of what you've seen of Loma's father, the entire life training, the different ad, uh, 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 alleyways that he's taken him through dance and they made him take that so he can understand how to use his feet in the ring, because if he was a natural, he wouldn't have needed him to do that. Lynn Swan, great receivers, people who've done that, Holyfield, they use these ta- these tactics. Using these things that really increase his neurological responses in these, what we call those, those Nike spark testing, where he's always testing his neurological responses. This shows greatness in the corner, maniacally choosing proper fights for him, putting him in 400 amateur fights almost before he goes pro, signing him up for the uh, World Series of Boxing, which allows you to fight with no headgear. It's hard to argue. How can you even be better than that? Because at the same time, he was a coach. He was a teacher and a father. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I I definitely would give the nod because there is no higher level than that. The only thing left for him to do is to retire and rake in all of the accolades as his son being one of the greatest to ever do it talent wise, not numerically because he's already had near 400 fights as an amateur, but what he gave the sport, the visual of what it looks like to be a purist inside of the ring. So for that reason, I'd give the nod to the, Loma family, period, with a team that's second to none. And if you look at who's in their corner, pay attention next Saturday night to see who's in the corner, because I think some people are overlooking who's actually in that corner. Man, they got a they got 80 years of brain in there. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. you know, Tiafimo Lopez got that a beautiful ability and agility, athleticism, power, sizzle, hot sauce the same time that foxhole is uber important at a fight like this so 